Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you and test a Minecraft server that's actually run on this little thing. It's called Raspberry Pi. So basically, you can buy it on. I bought it on a website called Banggood for 40 bucks, and it's pretty cheap. You can use it like a dedicated server. You can train on it, and you can basically have just this little device plugged in and run a Minecraft server on it. So if you want me to make a tutorial how to set everything up so basically on this raspberry pi it's a raspberry and operating system on it so it's basically it's a linux that's a uh, little modified for raspberry pi so yeah i'm gonna show you how you can make uh, a minecraft server on a raspberry pi and how it works actually i will show you on another video how to set it up how to set up so Right now we're just gonna test it and see how it works, if it lags, if there are any uh, crashes and stuff like that. So we are connected to SSH server, so basically we just looked up the IP from the Raspberry Pi um, and let's connect to it. So basically on the Raspberry Pi we got a SSH server uploaded, so we are able to connect with our laptop to the Raspberry Pi, so we don't have to actually connect our keyboard and mouse, and we don't have to plug in the screen to see everything, and yeah, so let's log in, we got a username Pi, and type, and I just typed my password, so we're gonna switch to screen recording after I done this, so let's see what kind of directories we got on this Raspberry Pi. So I already set up everything. If you want me to show you how to make it from scratch, how to set up everything, how to upload and download the files. So please let me know in the comments below. I will make another video. I would be happy to do that. So basically now we are um, we use the co command tmux so we can close the, uh, the window and the server will be still running. So basically, yeah. So now we have to type the command. So to run the Minecraft server and it started loading. So after it loads, let's just wait a second. And yeah, um, the Tmux is used. So basically you can run a Minecraft server in the background or, and you can close the terminal window and it will still be opened and it will run in the background. So yeah, we can actually close this now and it will still work. I will show you that in the end of the window, but yeah. So now it's loading and it's done. So now we can connect to the Minecraft server. It's going to take a little bit of time because Raspberry Pi got one gigabyte of RAM and a processor that's not really equally fast as as the processors on the computer. Basically, it got just a microchip. So the Minecraft server is now loaded and yeah, this is it. We can connect to the Minecraft server and it's connecting okay for some reason let's try again i don't know what happened right now but yeah let's try again i joined the minecraft server and it's gonna work this is basically just a test window to see how everything works on a raspberry pi and because it's not really a powerful computer, it's a really small computer that you can run um, a Minecraft server on it. Basically, it's a small computer with small specifics. And yeah, so now we are on a Minecraft server. And as you see, it's not that laggy. You can actually normally play the Minecraft server. I mean, you can normally play Minecraft. It's not really buggy. Probably you can have up to three players on the server and... It's just a small device that you can have plugged in all the time. And as you see, the chunks are loading slower, but they're still loading. And if you're walking around, it's normal, but let's OP ourselves on the Minecraft server right now. And yeah. Let's just wait a second. Here we go. Okay, so now if we go in game mode creative and we're gonna try to fly around the the world. So basically we're gonna test if the, the chunks are loading fast enough. 
if we are flying around so basically we are moving faster than if you're running and as you see the chunks start to low really slowly and it's it's not really possible to fly around and yeah so that's too slow yeah it's a little bit glitchy so you're actually not able to fly around and just to to discover the world but if you're playing in survival it's it's pretty possible to play because we, you got no lag and the chunks are loading fast enough but if you're flying around it's um it's still laggy you're not able to do that basically so now we're gonna try tnt as everyone knows the tnt if you put it too much it's gonna crash the micro server so we're gonna try to destroy this village with the tnt and let's see if it's gonna crash or if it's gonna work perfectly i don't really know what's gonna happen but yeah we're gonna test it out and see if it can handle the tnt so yeah let's see what is gonna happen it's gonna crash the micro server it's a little bit laggy yeah but it still works it still works fine and yeah it got a little bit glitchy because the chunks didn't load up after the explosions but yeah it works fine it didn't crash the minecraft server or anything so the minecraft server is actually player playable so if you want to test if you want to try it out how to run a minecraft server on uh dedicated server if you're thinking to buy a dedicated server you, you can train it on the raspberry pi because it's it's pretty fun and it's cheap you can have this little small device um, just plugged in in the corner and it's quiet and you don't really hear it and you can run it 24 7 um, and you can actually also open the port so basically you have you can have a public server but you don't really can have a lot of players on it because it's not a powerful computer but you can it's pretty fun you can try it out so let's just see if the chunks of the water are gonna lo load up if we just run there they're they're not loaded yet so let's see if we get closer if it's gonna load up and is it gonna load yeah it's work it works okay so you can have probably up to three players on the minecraft server you can make it public it's gonna run 24 7 it's just a small box that you can really you cannot hear running uh, because it doesn't have a cooler and yeah it's pretty simple to set up i'm gonna make a widow if you want me how to set up everything how to load every program that you need to run a micro server on a raspberry pi please let me know in the comments below and subscribe for that and yeah let's see how it works in the battle so let's find some enemies and let's see if we can actually fight or is it, is it gonna lag and as you see it works perfectly no lag at all you can fight the monsters easily and are we gonna die right now nope okay okay let's try to kill them there are no ghost attacks so this means it's not lagging at all it works really fine i think you can have it as a test server or something it's pretty cool that you can oh okay i just died so it's pretty cool you can run a minecraft server on it and you can test it out and you can make it public if you want to and it's just a small device that you can have in the corner i will show you the size of it right now and it's pretty cool simple to set it up and yeah that's it so actually you can close now the window and the minecraft server is still running because we use the command tmux if we didn't use the command tmux the server would close so yeah that's basically it if you would like me to make a tutorial how to set up every program on the raspberry and on the raspberry pi please let me know and yeah that's basically it see you in the next video have a nice day and i'm on a new level I'm on a new level I'm on a new level I'm on a